Hello everyone, welcome to this session. So in this session we are going to learn how to implement combinational circuit using decoder or demultiplexers. So at the end you will be able to examine the working of decoder or demultiplexer and design combinational circuit or any boolean function with the help of decoder and some external gates. So let us uh, learn what is a decoder is. A decoder or a demultiplexer having n select lines and 2 raised to n data lines can be used to implement a n variable boolean function with some external gates. So a demultiplexer comes with a one data line in decoder this data line is not available but in demultiplexer we have a t input. Uh, we have here n select lines and with this n select lines we can have maximum 2 raised to n output lines. So this is a simple block diagram of a demultiplexer or a decoder you can say. You can use this commercial device to implement any boolean function. So here is one example a decoder with two select lines has four data output lines. The relation is 2 to the power 2 and it can be used to implement a two variable boolean function. Decoders can be designed using many ways. Some designs uses AND gates, some designs uses NAND gates, OR gates or NOR gates. So in this particular session we are going to learn how to implement a combination circuit with the help of a decoder designed using AND gates and NAND gates. So a decoder can be also called as a mean term generator with active high outputs. So active high output decoder is designed using AND gates. So here is the logic diagram which shows you how a 2 to the 4 line decoder looks like. So here is the truth table. So we have here two select lines A and B. You can also call it as a binary inputs of the decoder. So for 0, 0 combination Q0 will be 1 and remaining outputs will be zeros. For 0, 1 Q1 will be 1 and remaining outputs will be 0 and so on. So here if you look at these Q0 to Q3 these all are mean terms. So what is Q0? Q0 is A bar B bar. Q1 is A bar B. Q2 is A B bar and Q3 is AB. So whenever you apply a proper combination to this AB that particular line will be activated whereas the remaining lines will be in the deactivated state. So this is why this active high output decoder is also called as a mean term generator. So this decoder can be used to implement sum of mean terms expressions with external OR gate. So here is one example shown. A function AB is equal to summation of mean terms 1 comma 2. Let us see how to implement this function with the help of this active high output decoder. So here you require an external OR gate. So decoder outputs corresponding to the mean terms should be connected to the inputs of this OR gate and you will achieve here the implementation of sum of mean term expression. We need to connect the outputs corresponding to the mean term to the OR gate. This decoder with the active high output can also be used to implement product of max term expressions but with external NOR gate. So here one example is shown f of AB is equal to sum of mean terms 0, 0,1. You can rewrite this as a product of max terms 2, 3. You can also rewrite this particular function as sum of mean terms 2 comma 3 and its complement. So with, with external NOR gate you can also implement the product of max terms in which you need to connect decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms as an input to the NOR gate. So in this particular example you need to connect mean terms outputs 2 and 3 as an input to this NOR gate. 
and you will achieve here the implementation of product of max terms. Let us design a full adder which is a commercial circuit using a decoder with active high output and external gates. So here we have full adder to table. So three inputs A, B, C in, two outputs sum and C out. So here on the left hand side we have written the summation of mean terms for sum and C out as well as product of max terms for sum and C out. So let us first use a external OR gate for the implementation of this particular full adder circuit. So as we have learned that if you want to use external OR gate you need to consider the outputs corresponding to the mean term. So here you will see that for the summation the output of decoders corresponding to the mean terms are connected as an input to the OR gate. So for this sum output we have considered consider here mean term 1, 2, 4 and 7. Similarly for C out we have considered here some mean terms 3, 5, 6 and 7. The same full adder can be implemented by using external NOR gate and this decoder. So for the NOR gates, you need to connect the decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms. So here are the max terms list for the summation 0, 3, 5 and 6. So here 0, then 3, 5 and 6 are connected as an input to this external NOR gate. Similarly for C out, the max terms are 0, 1, 2, 4. Decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms are connected as input to this second NOR gate here. So that is 0, max term 0, then 1, then 2 and 4. Now let us learn a decoder with active low outputs. This decoder can be designed using NAND gates and it also called as a max term generator. So this is the logic diagram in which a decoder is designed using NAND gates. So if you look at the outputs, this is A bar B bar which is equals to A plus B. Then we have here A plus B bar Q1, Q2 is A bar plus B and Q3 is A bar plus B bar. The truth table will look like this when, z when you apply 0, 0 as a binary inputs, Q0 will be 0 and other in outputs are 1. When binary inputs a, b are 0, 1, q1 will be 0 and other outputs are 1. So here the q0, q1, q2, q3 represents the max terms. So this is why this decoder with active low outputs is also called as a max term generator. This decoder with active low output can be used to implement sum of mean terms with external NAND gate. So here if you look at this particular diagram you can imagine or you can relate this structure as a NAND NAND implementation where the first layer is a NAND layer and second layer is also a NAND layer. And we already know that for NAND NAND implementation we consider the function in a SOP form or sum of mean terms form. So here to implement this particular function AB is equal to summation of mean terms 1 comma 2. You need to connect decoder outputs corresponding to the mean term as an input to this external NAND gate. And with this you, you have implemented here sum of mean terms. You can also implement product of max term with external AND gate. So again for the related theory please refer the chapter 3 and 5 from the digital principles and design by Donald Giovanni. So here one example is shown f of a b is equal to sum of mean terms 0 comma 1. You can rewrite this as a product of max terms 2 comma 3. 
but also you can rewrite this as a product of max terms 0 comma 1 and complement so in this case you need to connect decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms as an input to the external AND gate. So to implement this function you need to consider the outputs Q0 and Q1 as an inputs to this external AND gate. Let us design a full adder conventional circuit with a decoder with active low outputs and external gates. So again this is a truth table for a full adder with A, B, C in as a inputs and sum and C out as outputs. Mean terms and max terms are written on this left side. So let us understand the solution with the external NAND gate. So here as we saw if you want to implement sum of mean term expression you need to consider the outputs of decoder corresponding to the mean terms as an input to the external NAND gate. So here if you look at this NAND gate related to some inputs are M1, M2 and M4 and M7. For C out you have the mean terms as 3, 5, 6 and 7. So in this case the outputs, decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms are connected to the input of this second NAND gate which are 3, 5, 6 and 7. So here if you look at this particular logic diagram here, this is a simple and NAND NAND implementation which we already know that used to implement sum of mean terms forms or sum of pro product forms. This is another solution in which we have used external AND gates and we will know that this can be used to implement product of max terms. So here the inputs to the AND gate corresponding to sum are nothing but the decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms that is 0, 3, 5 and 6. For C out the max terms are 0, 1, 2, 4. So you need to connect decoder outputs corresponding to the max terms as an input to this external AND gate. So this is how you can implement any combinational circuit or any boolean function with the help of few extra external gates. Okay. So that depends on the decoder design, whether that decoder is designed with the help of AND gate, whether that decoder is designed with the help of NAND gate, NOR gate or OR gate. Okay? So you need to understand the truth table for that specific decoder and then you need to decide which external gate you want to use for the implementation. So as I said, you can refer this digital principle and design by Donald Giovanni for the further understanding. Thank you.